In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your videos from Adobe Premiere Pro 2023 and keep the file size really small. So let's get into it. Now, before we jump into Premiere, it's really important to note that I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro 23. So this will look a little bit different if you've got an older version of Premiere. So once you're ready to export your video, we're just going to go over to the export tab. Now you'll find loads of different settings here, but basically we're just going to focus on media file. Now you can rename this and you can place this where you want this to go. But in order to get our smaller video size, we want to focus on a few settings. So first of all, you want to make sure the format is H.264. Then we'll go into video and we'll go into more. So you want to keep your frame size the same frame size as your sequence. So if you're doing 1920 by 1080, keep that as 1920 by 1080 or 4K, UHD, 8K, etc. The same goes for your frame rate and then your field order you can keep as progressive and you can set the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels. But in order to get a high quality export with a smaller file size, there's a few settings that you want to focus on. So we're going to go all the way down to bitrate settings. We're going to change this to CBR. And if I pull this slide all the way to the right and we look down here in the bottom right, you'll notice that the estimated file size is going to be 1,295 megabytes, which for a 43 second video is quite large. Now, obviously, with this being such a high number on export, it means the quality is going to be all the way up here. It's going to be really sharp and it's going to be a great quality export. However, it is a large file size. So if I pull that all the way to the left, so 0.19, you can see the file size is two megabytes, but the video is going to look dreadful. So I find the perfect number is around 30. You can pull this down to 20, but I feel when you get lower than 20, the quality really starts to drop off very quickly. So if we select 30, you'll see the estimated file size is 163. And if we go down to 20, you can see that's dropped to 109. Now, like I said, I wouldn't go much lower than 20 because you will start to really damage the quality of your video. Now, of course, as well, whilst you are here, you can also select render at maximum depth and you can also select use maximum render quality. This is just going to give you a cleaner export, but it won't affect the size of your video too much. So now we can just press export. Adobe Premiere Pro is just going to export that for us. And when we have a look in the finder, you'll notice this is a really small file size. So to sum this whole video up, when you're exporting, you just want to keep the bitrate slider as low as possible, maybe around 20 or 30, and that's going to give you a high quality export with a low file size.